OK, here's another assignment for you to play with. This time I'd like you to create a dummy raw material release schedule for your plant. What quoted lead times are you using in your plant? Do you have more than one product family? Do they have different quoted lead times? If so, you should list each QLT and its PLT, which is the QLT divided by 2. Make a list on a spreadsheet with a row for each product family and columns for each QLT and PLT. Where the QLT is the same or almost the same for different product families, combine them into one group. For instance, if you had a product family that had a 20-day QLT and another family with an 18-day QLT, the PLTs are 10 and 9 days respectively. In this situation, I would combine them all into one QLT of 18 days and a PLT of 9 days. This avoids us having unnecessary complexity and it is highly unlikely to result in us having too little time to process a work order through the plant. There are some situations where that statement may not be true, but all we're doing here is creating a dummy schedule for our own learning purposes so there is no risk. I will talk more on this subject in part two of On Time in Half the Time. Once you've identified all of your product family QLTs and PLTs, take a sample of accepted customer orders from the last week or two and create a dummy raw material release schedule. I suggest using a spreadsheet for this. With columns like column A for the work order number, column B for the quoted lead time, column C for the committed due date, column D for the PLT, column E for the raw material release date, obviously calculated using the due date minus the production lead time formula. When you've created a good sample, I'll leave it to you to decide what that is for your plant, check where each of those work orders is in reality. Has it been released to production? How many work orders are in the plant too early? 